I'm not gonna waste that. I'm actually gonna put that on my hair. Guys, you must you must not waste your resources, ne? These things are expensive. Hi my lovers, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for gracing me with your presence. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, I am Jennifer. I hope that you stick around by actually hitting the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you like the content that I put out on my videos, please make sure you hit the like button and comment down below letting me know your thoughts about the video, especially for this video today. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my current products. Now, these are not staple products because I believe that we always change we always find new things but they are my current go-to products because these are the products that i currently have and currently reach out for whenever i'm doing anything on my hair so i'm going to be showing you those products and i have a basket here full of my goodies i do not want a lot of products because they do confuse me if i do go out and get a product in addition to this it is for a reason it is for a specific reason i would go out and say i want something like this and when i go to the shops i will try and find something like that but i do not like to have a lot of things and use those things at once because they can get confusing so i'm gonna start with my washing i'm not gonna go into the pre pool deep conditioning and what i'm just gonna focus on washing and moisturizing because i believe that if you're starting out on your natural hair journey you do not need to over complicate your things first get your wash and your moisturizing routine in lockdown then you can build from that in terms of looking at pre pools and all that other stuff like deep conditioning that is what I did in the two years of me maintaining my hair up until this year when I actually started making a conscious decision to take the health of my hair seriously. But before that, it was just washing, moisturizing. So first talk about my, so I'm going to first talk about my shampoo. So this is a dark and lovely shampoo, natural. Guys. Um, I've been using this brand or I've been using these for two years now so I can't complain I can't say that they are bad in any way I can't say that they strip my hair in any way I tried using a shampoo and a conditioner by organics it just did not go well with my hair my hair felt stripped every time after washing my hair but since using this I won't lie my hair is loving it but then I'm not saying that it's the same case with everyone. But for me, my hair is loving it. Do I think that I'm going to try other shampoos? Yes, I think I will because there are a lot of South African brands that are out there currently that are doing amazing. And I would love to actually test their products. So this for now is what I have and I love it. My hair loves it. But when I actually expo explore more in terms of South African brands that are actually owned by black people, that is where maybe I am going to change. But for now, these are fine. So the second one is my conditioner. This is the conditioner also by Dark and Lovely Naturale. I love this. It is very good when it comes to detangling. But also I have stopped detangling my hair in a shower. I no longer do that. I know that naturals natural people or natural enthusiasts will tell you that you need to detangle in every step of your wash day i don't do that anymore i do not do that because i've experienced a lot of shedding by detangling my hair in a shower i no longer no longer detangle my hair in a shower i make sure that i have my twist when i get into a shower so i detangle my hair when i pre poo Definitely when I pre poo because there is more sleep on my hair then I detangle then then get into a shower wash my put my shampoo with those twists I don't even undo them put my shampoo wash it off put my conditioner wash it off and Then if I'm gonna do a deep conditioner put a deep conditioner like I just make sure that if I am going to be in a shower I'm not messing with my hair. So here's the advice. I'm going to give you guys whenever you are buying a shampoo and a conditioner for your wash Please try to buy from the same range. And when I say from the same range, from the same brand, like, like this, if you're gonna buy Nilotica, 
buy Nanotica shampoo and a conditioner. If you're gonna buy Afro Botanics, buy Afro Botanics shampoo and a conditioner. If you're gonna buy Sheer Moisture, buy Sheer Moisture conditioner and a shampoo. Why? They are formulated together because they're supposed to work together and you achieve the best results by using the same shampoo and a conditioner from the same line. Those two things must always go together. There is one thing I have learned in my natural hair journey and even if you are not natural you have your relaxed hair whatever type of hair you have make sure that when you buy your shampoo it is always going together with your conditioner the next thing that i actually found recently is this um afro botanics i don't know if you're gonna see that yeah let me put it like this afro botanics leave-in conditioner i'm in love here's the thing I have never you I've, I've previously I had never used uh, Afro Botanics products not even one of them but then I started actually exploring in terms of my hair and the products and this leave-in conditioner right here does the things it does the things that need to be done it is good you guys it is so moisturizing it is thick it's like a butter consistency but it's not that thick of a butter it's like a cream so i don't know how to explain it let me just show you so this is this is the um, from this so that is the consistency you guys like look at that it is it's very creamy it's light now nah? I'm not gonna waste that I'm actually gonna put that on my hair guys you must you must not waste your resources nah? these things are expensive natural hair products I think everyone knows that just then another leave-in conditioner don't laugh I think you should have seen this by now on one of my videos so this is a leave-in conditioner by Cantu Cantu guys is expensive I think everyone knows that Cantu is expensive so I picked this up and imagine guys this is 69 rands so small so I picked this up at clicks and the reason why I picked this small one is because I could not afford the big one it smells very good it's actually a sheer butter leave-in conditioner it is good it is damn good but I still can't afford the big one. So if let's say for instance, I still want to buy this I'm still gonna go for a small bottle, especially because I have this big one right here Which is also just as good. So this is a leave-in conditioner by Cantu. It's a sheer butter leave-in conditioner repair cream I also like to use this when I'm moisturizing my hair, but I do not mix them. I do not mix them I will choose like do I want to use this or do I want to use this? But since I got this, I've been using this a lot. I haven't been using this much. The next product that I'm also going to show you is this hair juice. So it's hair juice by Afro Botanics. Uh, I picked this up when I actually did this braid. But since I did the braid, I've been using it to kind of give life to my braid. So I would spray, especially where there is my hair, because I can see where there is my hair and the way it stops. So I make sure that I spray it in to just give life to my braids and to kind of protect my hair. So I use this currently on my daughter's hair when I'm moisturizing her hair. So I would go in with the juice, then go in with the leave-in conditioner. Don't know why because i feel like they do work in a similar way but then i just you know i just because yeah so another thing that i have is my staple product my brand my baby it is lux naturals now this is a hair butter it is a sheer butter i actually uh, infused some fragrance oils like uh, what does this one smell like? Um, I infused a lot of apple in here, orange, um, citrusy fruits. Let me just say, yeah, there's a lot of citrusy fruits here. So this is my hair butter by Lux Natural, which is my baby, my brand. This I use whenever there, whenever after washing my hair, I make sure that I go with my sheer butter and I go really 
in with my shea butter because that helps to keep my moisture longer and i would say that shea butter for me currently works as a lock as a as a sealant because it is thick it is very thick so i would say that currently with my hair it is working as a sealant but i still put my oils as a sealant but i still go in with my shea butter before i go in with my oils which are these ones might as well just put them out pull them out so these this is also from my brand as you can see my brand right here by babies so these are this is something also that i actually love using i've been i started this brand last year ever since i started the brand i've been using from my range and i love it my hair loves it so these oils i use them at the end as my sealant um step so yes and then another product that i picked up that i actually like it's this one nilotica this is a, a, a detangler you guys i hope you can see that this is a detangler it is sheer and cocoa collection detangling cream these i picked up um a while ago i use this for detangling if i'm not if let's say for instance i had twist out and now i want to i don't want to wash my hair as yet because it's not time but my hair needs to be detangled so I would go first with water. So this is my plain water. And then I will go in with this detangling cream. It is very good. It provides a very good sleep when it comes to detangling your hair. So I love it. I can't really complain about it. And it also smells good. So that is what I use for detangling. If let's say it's not my wash day, just me freshening up my hair. I'll go in with that cream by now. I don't know how to explain this product right here. This is the girl that knows who she is this is the girl that knows who she is this is afro botanics twist curl and defining cream when you see me with a beautiful twist out when you see me with a beautiful curl like if let's say i did a bunch of knots or a twist out it is this baby right here this baby right here but I will not give it to her alone. I will not give it. I'm going to call. I'm going to say she's a her. I'm not going to give it to her alone and say that she's the one who achieves the best to start when it comes to my hair because it always go. It all goes with the whole regimen, you guys. So I make sure that I pack in moisture whenever I'm going to be doing twist. Then when I do undo my twist, they always come out popping because i just make sure that i give my hair a lot of moisture so this though i won't lie it is very good in terms of defining my curl and defining my twist out so i love it so that is it you guys that is my basket i love each and every product that is in here and I am going to explore more when it comes to my shampoo and my conditioner. I'm still planning to support more South African black owned brands, especially female owned brands when it comes to uh, washing my So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you also have your staple products or your product that are actually your go-to so that you avoid any confusion. So I hope to see you on the next video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and also comment down below letting me know what are your thoughts about the video. And also, if you are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Until I see you on the next video, thank you so much. Keep well. Bye.